Hey, what's happening, everybody? It's me, Crazy Frankie, and I'd like to welcome you to my NFL playoffs wild card round picks. Well, the regular season is over. We're in the start of a new year, and that can only mean one thing NFL playoffs time. Now, before I get into my wild card round picks, um, I just want to say some quick thoughts from the end of the regular season in week number 17. Now, pretty much everything that happened in week 17 when I did my predictions video, pretty much I was spot on. I was actually spot on on everything that I said that would happen in week 17, except except for the fact that um, one of my predictions was wrong. And that was the fact I thought that, well, actually, it was actually two, two things I thought that were going to happen but did not happen. It was actually the Ravens. I picked actually the Ravens and the Chargers to get in the playoffs and that did not happen so it ended up being the bills and the titans the really surprising thing though was the bills getting in after cincinnati upset baltimore um in order for the bills to get into the playoffs and it was kind it was kind of i i don't want to say it was hilarious though that a lot of people People who are Buffalo Bills fans are all that all gave so many so many thank yous to the Bengals for them to get in. I mean, it is, I mean, I can understand if you're a long time, especially long suffering Bills fan. I mean, you last went to the playoffs in 1999. That was already over 17 years in counting if you didn't get in. But you know, they they earned their spot though. But let's just see what happens in the wild card game and see who who how they will do. And I will get into that in a minute. As I was saying, everything was pretty much spot on in what I said. The seedings were pretty much intact, except for the in the AFC when I thought the Ravens and Chargers were going to get in. The Bill, Bills and Titans are the teams that, that got in. So yeah, of course, uh, it is the wild card round, which means the teams that have the, the one and two seeds in the AFC and the NFC, which is the Patriots, Steelers, the Eagles, and the Vikings will not play this week. They will play next weekend. And the winners of who, and the winners of the wild card games, who end up facing those two teams, playing those teams after this weekend. All right, this is serious business now here as we now begin the NFL playoffs. And here we go with my wild card round picks. Let's begin in the AFC. Let's begin with AFC wild card game, the Tennessee Titans and the Kansas City Chiefs. The Chiefs are a huge favorite in this game at eight and a half. Eight and a half points here. And that's pretty much pretty much spot on. Even though despite the fact that Kansas City down the stretch ended up playing strong, but also they played poorly during the midpoint of the regular season. But in the end, at the end of the season, the Kansas City Chiefs were able to pour it on. Now for Tennessee, they're a ro they've been a roller coaster throughout the regular season. I mean, they've been fortunate enough to get in. And let's look at some key statistics from the from um from both these teams here. Of course, I'm talking about the quarterbacks. Um, um last week for the Titans, uh, Mariota in the win. In, his, in the win against the Jaguars last week, he went 12 of 21, 134 yards, one touchdown pass, no interceptions. Now, Smith, Alex Smith last week did not play. In his last game, which was in week 16, he was 25 of 39, 304 yards, one touchdown, and no interceptions. In his last game, which was against the, um, the, the Dolphins... Um, thoughts on quick thoughts on this game here. Um, as much as you know, Tennessee's been fortunate to get in this game. This is kind of an easy pick here. Um, th even though, despite the fact Kansas City, I mean, they're they kind of have some injuries that they're dealing with, and Alex Smith is going to be a huge question down the stretch to see. Well, let's see how if 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 he can get through this game without any mishaps. Um, who do I see winning this one here? Um, this is kind of an easy pick here. You got to go with the Kansas City Chiefs here. Their running game is too strong, and I can see them and I can see them running all over Tennessee's defense here. The running game, the running game is going to be key in this game, and I think the Chiefs have the better running game, even though for passing, even though in terms of passing, um, Kansas City kind of has a slight edge on that. But both Marion and Smith and Smith are pretty good are pretty good QBs in terms of, in terms of passing. But Kansas City's running game is a little bit more stronger, and I 
pretty much will pick the Chiefs in this game here because they'll pretty much run over Tennessee's defense here. I don't see I don't see Tennessee's defense stopping Hunt in this game. And I think the Chiefs win this one here. Chiefs over the Titans. All right, AFC Wild Card game. The Bills at the Jaguars. Jaguars are also a huge favorite in this game. Eight and a half. And I agree with that. Buffalo, they're just fortunate enough to get in. Now they have a very tough opponent. And keep in mind here, LaShawn McCoy is a, is a big, big time game time decision right now. Because he got hurt. He got hurt, uh, I think it was in week 16 or last week. It, without McCoy, their running game is going to really take a hit in this game. So there's, I don't have any information whether or not it's going to... The last I read in, on NFL.com, he's going to be a game-time decision. Now, key stats here. Um, Tyron Taylor went 19-27 last week. 204 yards, one touchdown, and no interceptions. Ja uh, for the Jaguars, they're, Blake Bortles actually played in this game. Despite, even though really the Jaguars really had nothing to play for because they had, because they won their own, they won their own division here, but other than that, Bortles did play. Bortles went 15 of 34, 158 yards, no touchdowns, and was picked off twice. It really was not surprising stats though. I mean, pretty because it was a game the Jaguars it was pretty meaningless to them against the Titans. But now that it's serious business in terms of the playoffs here, um, let's um. If McCoy's not gonna, if McCoy can't play in this game against uh, for the Bills against the Jaguars, it's really gonna hurt. It's really gonna hurt the Bills' defense. Here, Tyron Taylor's gonna have to do. He's gonna have to really carry the team all by himself. The Jaguars are a little bit more of a complete team than the Bills are here, and that is why I'm going with the Jacksonville Jaguars here. They pretty much have the upper hand in this game for the Bills. I mean, they were fortunate enough to get in, but for them, it's gonna be one and done. That's pretty much gonna be. Um, Another easy pick here. You got to go Jacksonville here. Jaguars should win this one here. Jaguars over the Bills. On the NFC side now. Here we go. NFC wildcard game. The Atlanta Falcons at the Rams. This is actually going to be... Actually, I think the NFC wildcard games are actually... They may be the more interesting games than on the AFC side. The AFC games look a little bit more predictable. On the NFC side, I don't think so. I, I think these... These two wild card games in the NFC, I think, may end up being good games here. But anyways, talking about the Falcons and the Rams here. Rams are a six and a half point favorite here. Don't be surprised if that number gets a little bit lower by the time the game starts on Saturday night. Now, key stats here. Matt Ryan last week, in order for the Falcons to get in, he went 28 to 45, 317 yards, one touchdown pass, and no interceptions last week in a win against the Panthers. Now, Jared Goff... Did not play last week, and his last game was in Week 16. Um, in Week 16 against the Titans, he went 22 of 38, 301 yards, four touchdown passes, and no interceptions. Um, points about this game here, I think it's really, you talk about experience versus inexperience here. The Rams are a young, hungry team, but they're in a, but they're in a position now as they're in the playoffs here. Nobody on that Rams team has had playoff experience. They're a very young team. Atlanta's been in the playoffs many times before. They're the veteran team here. Rams running game has turned out to be a little bit more better than the Falcons running game. Passing, though, I'm giving a, I'm giving a little bit of a slight edge to the Falcons here. Matt Ryan's been in this position before. And you don't think that the Falcons want aren't hungry enough to try to get back to the Super Bowl in order to get revenge. Um, this is a very, this is actually a tough pick here because even though the, 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 the current lines have the Rams a huge favorite in this one at six and a half, I don't see it that way. I think it's going to be, the, I think it's a much, it's going to be a much closer game than everybody will think here. And I think it's going to be a good one here. But when you talk about experience versus inexperience, this is why I'm picking the Atlanta Falcons in this game. I think the Falcons in terms, in, even though they don't have everybody from their Super Bowl team though, they still have the team that's been in the playoffs before and knows how to win. The Rams here, I mean, they're they're an up-and-coming team, and I can see them getting to the playoffs next year as well. But when it turns to this season, though, I wouldn't be surprised if they win this game, but, at, but really, a lot of the Rams are young players and they're inexperienced. This is why I'm going with the Falcons here. The Falcons have the experience. The Rams don't. 
And but don't be but don't don't get me wrong. This is going to be a good game. I expect this game to be a close one here on Saturday night in the Coliseum. But I'm going to pick the Falcons here. I think they have. It's because of the playoff experience. I think they they have it. And I for the Rams though, it, it, they're going to be in a really really tough game here. Expect a very close game. It might go back and forth here. This is probably going to be one of the one of the better games this weekend. But I like the Falcons here because of their playoff experience. Falcons over the Rams. An NFC wildcard game, the Carolina Panthers against the New Orleans Saints. Round number three here. This is the third meeting between these two teams. The Saints won the last two, and this is going to decide it. And um, this is going to decide the third game here in the playoffs. The Saints are six and a half point favorite in this one. Don't be surprised if that number is also going to get a little bit lower. Key stats from from last week, Cam Newton went 14 of 34, 180 yards, one touchdown pass, but he was intercepted three times last week against the Falcons. Even though despite the fact the Panthers clinched a playoff berth, it put, the game was pretty much kind of meaningless to them. But you know, but it was mostly just for a fight for to win the division because the Saints ended up winning the NFC South. Now, Drew Brees last week for the Saints went 22 of 30, 245 yards, one touchdown pass, and no interceptions. Even though they lost to the Panthers, I mean to the Buccaneers last week, um, this is going to be another close game here. I expect a very, very close game here, and I wouldn't be surprised if this if this game ends up going into overtime here. I think this, I mean, this is going to be a very, very good game here. Expect a very tough game for both these two teams. It can go back and forth. Pretty much both teams are evenly matched in terms of offense, defense. The Saints are a little bit better on defense. Which is surprising because their defense hasn't been good in years. This year, their defense has actually been better. But in terms of this, in terms of who I pick in this game here, um, boy, it's a very, it is a tough one here. It's a tough pick here. I expect a good game here, but I'm actually going to go with the New Orleans Saints here. I think they're going to sweep them. I think they're going to complete the sweep here. Um, but this is really not a sure pick here because. You don't think that the Panthers want a little bit of some bit, some sweet revenge here after losing twice to the Saints. It's, this is really not a sure pick here, but I'll go with the Saints here because the Saints are good at home. They've been a, they've been a, they've been a good home team all season long. They're not that they're not that good on the road. Um, but for this game here, I like the Saints in this one here. But this is not a sure pick. Really not a sure pick here. But it should be a great game in the in the super in the Superdome on Sunday. So yep, yeah, I'm gonna go with the New Orleans Saints here. Saints over in the Panthers. All right, everybody, that wraps up my wild card round picks. Of course, see you guys next week when I talk about my picks for the divisional round here. I take this time to say Happy New Year to every one of you. And guys, I will see you all next week when I talk about my um, picks for the divisional round. Take care.